All right. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Uh, so what we want to do today is try to um, explore sensory archaeology across space and time. We want to try to develop a diachronic and interdisciplinary conversation about theoretical and methodological approaches to sensory archaeology. And, well, Nikki came out with this idea of the longitudinal approach, and I kind of like it. It seems to be like this kind of richness with the idea of having scholars from a variety of backgrounds sharing their peculiar understanding of this relatively new discipline. So the session draws upon three main themes, experiences of body, place, and materials, as well as engaging with the broader uh, theme of the conference, power, knowledge, and the past. We opted for a mixed format, consisting of traditional presentation, followed by a hands-on hands -on session which demonstrates um, their various sensory approaches. So hopefully we will have a chance to try in practice some of the sensory experience we will be discussing today. So we are going to start with Kelly Brick, who is going to explore the sensory experience of urban space across time. And then we have Dan Stewart, who will discuss the impact of textual description on our understanding of space in ancient Greece. And then Andrew Watson uh, will look at people's engagement with prehistoric monuments based on phenomenological uh, fieldwork. We then move on to the hands on session, which will address a rich array of topics ranging from Whitby Jet to the Roman Saturnalia, early, early distillation practices, and the color of the death. After the break, we have Sue Hamilton and Ruth Whitehouse that will engage with sensory aspects of domestic and ritual prehistoric sites in South Italian prehistory. And finally, Paul Clark will address the role of colors in burial practices in Roman Britain. So, just a few notes that Nikki is going to give you. Oh, sorry. About the filming and the Twitter thing. Yes, so you may have seen with the camera at the front of the room, we are filming all of our presentations today. Uh, and for those pre presenters, you can have a look at it afterwards. And if you think, I don't look that great today, <laughs> you can decide not to look at it online. That's fine, completely fine with us. Obviously, the more that we see online, I think it would be great, but other people can't attend today. Um, the tag organizers have asked uh, for uh, sessions to use uh, their hashtag, which is tag29ucl. We've kind of put our own small hashtag in there, which is tag senses. If anybody wants to tweet the session, feel free. Um, we've asked the uh, presenters that if they don't want their, um, uh, their research tweeted for any reason, for example, it's original, it hasn't been released yet, that they'll put something at the beginning of their presentation. So just please respect that. Okay.